Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for, well, it's the first, second, September 1st and 2nd, you know, it, you know how it rolls over, so September 1st, September 2nd. We are going to get a couple of these, we're going to get one of these, we're going to get some of these, we might get one of those, we'll see what happens. Now, this reading may not be for you, okay? And I know there's a lot of people that don't understand that. They'll comment underneath their, their monthly readings, you know, or their weekly readings, something, you know, like that reading was meant for them, but it didn't, something stupid. You know, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, then it's, then it's not for you. doesn't happen very often <laughs> just saying attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully now we're going to clarify these cards at the end you know and that's a message it just came to me it just came to me if it doesn't resonate with you it's not for you and that's like in life That's with people. Some people aren't meant to be in your circle and or in your life or with you and it's up to you to remove them. Set boundaries. I had to set a boundary this morning. I know you guys probably don't want to hear my talk, but this guy got really upset because, for a stupid reason, whatever. I didn't choose him, but whatever. We won't get into that. And uh, so I had to, I blocked him on my phone, so he found another way. <laughs> so I blocked him there, too. You know, set your boundaries. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. These are both right now. It's time to worry about right now. Not the past, not the future. What is happening right now? Because that is where you're at. Enjoy your time as it is right now. True love, this, is, this love is once in a lifetime love. This love is a once in a lifetime love. Look at how beautiful that is. Right now, who is it that you're thinking about right now? Is it someone new? Live today as if it was your last. Don't hold on to the past.
happiness, bliss. This is beautiful. This is a extreme happiness. You have the opportunity to be extremely happy at this time. We're going to go ahead and get all the cards this time. Interesting, to say the least. No victory and success with the King of Pentacles. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> or the King of Wands. No victory and success. Perhaps there was some bitterness. There's some bitter words, some harsh communication. Maybe there was some, some words that were said that you didn't want to hear, you know. Somebody has a decision to make, a decision, a choice. You know, you're at a crossroads in your life and you have to choose, do you stay where you're at or do you move forward? There's a feeling of defeat, defeat. You may feel defeated in love because of your past. But now is the time to take action and let yourself blossom and let yourself bloom because that's what happens in the summer. Act now, think later because there's an opportunity for love here at now, right now. Somebody is, they could be angry and upset because nothing moved forward, whatever that is. There's, there's no forward movement. There's no, you know, there's a lack of, of moving forward, a lack of, of uh, getting to the other side, you know, getting what they wanted. Somebody didn't get what they wanted. Um, hmm. There's an opportunity for love here if you are practical and responsible. But somebody has lost their focus, lost their concentration. And I feel like you, you need to set some boundaries. This is set some boundaries because you're probably dealing with somebody who doesn't have any, doesn't honor boundaries. This person doesn't honor boundaries. There's been some observation. This person is probably mean. You're probably dealing with a mean-spirited individual who lives in a state of almost misery and you know this person who lives in in this state of misery is holding in resent from a past situation yeah, this person, whoever you're dealing with, or it could even be you, is not telling the truth. You know, they're hurting. And I think because they're hurting, they're they're hurting you, you know? This this two of swords is is reverse. This is seeing the truth. It's like your words have exposed the truth about the negative person that you truly are. Somebody's angry and that's evident. Somebody is angry and they're angry because something was said that was undesirable. 
And that is what exactly what this is. You know, and I feel as though at this point there's there's a feeling of emotional turmoil. That's what these cards are. There's emotional turmoil because somebody, you know, maybe their ego and pride was hurt. We're going to clarify these cards over here, but there is an opportunity for happiness. There's an opportunity for happiness and bliss if you put effort into not letting the past, this is the past because we have past here a couple times, the past defeat hinder you from loving again. You're at a crossroads. You have the opportunity to move forward. You have the resources, you have the power, but you have to be willing to shed the, the defeat, the feeling of being defeated, the, the past betrayals, the past hurts. The magician uses his resources, his internal magic to shed hurt. To bring success to his life. This person is very wise. He's, he didn't, he was, well, he was, he was born with all the resources, but he didn't know he had them. He learned that through life experience. He had to learn that he had the resources to prevail. So it feels as though somebody is manifesting a new love. Because they are willing to live in the now. To go through the new door, perhaps. This is awareness. And the eights are the time is now. Aware that, you know, this is, this is a oneness as well. Aware that. Now is all we ever have. Right now is all we ever have. It's the birth of something new. Okay, this also represents Taurus. This is Gemini. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Leo, Cancer. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we might as well say Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so they're all here. They're all here. But this is Taurus and Libra. This right here is the birth of something new. It's a rebirth. It's, uh, I know what I'm worth. I have a lot of wisdom behind my back. And I'm not going to settle for anything that doesn't have any potential for growth. There's a new opportunity being presented to you for love and security. And it is something that you have manifested. It is. It's the answer to your prayers as well. So there is, a, there is an opportunity here. One, one, one. Your thoughts truly do become things, right? Now is the time, perhaps, of receiving the reward that you have been dreaming about. Now, this Empress card is a person, the Empress is a person that knows their worth. This person doesn't chase opportunities. This opportunities chase her. Because she is wise enough to know better. There, there are some burdens here. Somebody is overwhelmed by the heaviness of the past. They are. Somebody is overwhelmed. But you have, you have the power 
to release it. You do. You really, really do. You have the power to shed it. You have the power to complete this cycle from the past right now and start new. You do. With the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups and the, and the Magician, you have the power to basically go through this birth to start anew. What's birth? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a new beginning. To get to that birth, you have to go through pain. You do. I mean, you think about a birth. You think about a birth. It, it's not painless. It's not. You gain weight. It hurts. You have the baby, and then you get your reward. So... It feels as though there's been a lot of pain... There's been a lot of hurt. It's been a heavy load. And now it's time for your reward. It's time for that birth. It's time for that new beginning. There's a, it's a time for love. Okay? You are being given an opportunity, a raw opportunity for love insecurity stability this could be a new partner that you've manifested because you have become painstakingly aware of what you are worth interesting this is a very interesting reading so you know I you know I don't know if I should keep going with these cards or not there was no victory and success in one situation okay I don't know who it's with or whatever but it could be with anybody but it's like this is a, a loss of direction for a period of time you may have been lost you may have lacked some discipline you may have felt a little opposition in your life you may have had a choice between two options, which could definitely be the case. And I feel as though there is some words that get said that open up your eyes to the reality of one situation. Because this is, this is exposing the truth. The truth comes out. And somebody gets shut down emotionally. It's like, no, this isn't what I want. This isn't, that's not love. That's not love. That ain't love. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Maybe it was just all bust, lies, manipulation. Maybe it was a karmic situation that you were involved in. And when you discern the situation properly, you will receive a reward. I mean, this is a reward. So I feel as though today is a day where somebody completes a cycle. These are both completes a cycle with something that probably was holding them back from true love. You know, something was somebody has faced their demons. That's what this is. And closed themselves emotion off emotionally to somebody that was hurtful. That's what this is. That's what this lineup over here is. It's like there's a there's a there's a situation that was a lie that was all Well, based on everything but love. It was based on everything but love. It was it was words, it was lies, it was untrue. I mean it was and and it, it could have been very sexually oriented. But it looks as though somebody is getting shut down and it's like the, the offer is being taken away. And that hurts. That hurts. 
So, but there's a reward at the end of it. Because somebody, again, knows what they're worth. You know, I'm worth more than that. And I am ready to go through a new door. I've made a decision with this too. I've made a decision to accept this truth about you and go through that new path because I want true love. And that's truly what it's about. It's about true love. This love is a once in a lifetime love. I'm gonna clarify these cards. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, living in the now. Not letting this past pain hold you back. It's like allowing this birth to happen, allowing yourself to live happily, allowing this renewal. It's like allowing your new you to be who you are. Right now is all that matters, not yesterday, not the day before, not last year, not 10 years ago, right now, right now. Attraction, You're attra you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not. So somebody's getting a rude awakening. That's the truth. It's already happened for me early today. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but it's funny. I mean, it's not funny, but whatever. Um, yeah, somebody is going to be get a rude awakening. I know what I'm worth. I know what I'm worth. So yeah, there's going to be some sort of break up or break or breakdown or upheaval or event that may hurt okay because it, it may hurt it may be a little overwhelming so even, it doesn't have to be like what happened with me because this is for thousands of people this is gonna hurt this tower moment is gonna hurt there's gonna be pain there is there is but it's going to end with a reward, okay? It is going to end with a reward. So allow this pain to happen. Realize that it's happening for a reason. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yeah, and, and do the best that you can to enjoy it. I know it's not enjoyable when something hurts, when something's heavy, when you have a rude awakening. But realize that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe this rude awakening happens to, so that you can enjoy the moment now, so that you can release the past. Be prepared for a change, okay? <laughs> and you know, these, these uh, rude awakenings can be tiny, they can be, you know, mediocre, or they can be big. Okay, they could be something as little as what happened to me this morning. That was, yeah, that was a rude awakening. Probably not for me, but for the other person. And, um, you know, so it was a little rude awakening. It can be a big rude awakening, all right? Um, true love. This love is a once-in-a-lifetime love. Ooh, somebody's coming in. Somebody new is coming in. Because you release. Oh my goodness. Mm, a golden opportunity. You, you release something that isn't good for you. That's what happens here. You release something that isn't good for you. And true love comes in. Truly. Absolutely. The Knight of Cups with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. And this is releasing what doesn't serve you. This is no longer resisting. Now there's a new opportunity for love. And there is. It's like somebody is coming in to offer you something solid. Because you release this demon, whatever it was. Um, beautiful. I really like it. I don't even know what I... I guess I did. Forgiving and learning. 
As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Really? Beautiful. That's basically what I've just talked about. It is. You have a new suitor. You have a new suitor that's better suited for you than whoever this person was. Okay? There is a, somebody that is better suited, somebody that is more exciting. This is an opportunity. So you may be receiving, you may be receiving an invitation or an offer from somebody, and it's very exciting. There's your new opportunity as well. The Five of Cups reverse. It's realizing that I have somebody better suited for me. I do. I'm just gonna forgive this. I'm gonna learn from this because I have another offer of love. So there is another offer of love here. Somebody is offering you their cup uh, and it's genuine. Somebody with good intentions is coming in because you have released something that was a lie. That is exactly what this is. So I feel as though today is a day of receiving a reward of some sort. It, it does involve true love. Now this could even be having a baby. Somebody could have a baby. I mean, that just came to me. Okay? This is receiving a reward for all the pain that you have endured. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Talk to you later.